Hey, what's happening, Souls fans? Anonymous Chaos here with a build showcase for you. And in today's uh, episode, I will be showcasing my Chaos Queen build. Now, this is a um, level 201 uh, strength build. Um, I uh, I put uh, a lot of stats into uh, areas that will make me uh, last longer in a lot of fights. Uh, and that's uh, how I got to being a two, 201. Now, typically, I like to keep my builds at uh, level 10 or not 10 150. Um, <clears throat> but, however, with this build, I felt uh, that if I was going to make a build that um, would that I could call that I could really call my own, uh, it would need to be able to uh, also hold its own against, um, you know, your level 300s or 500s or so on and so forth that I will undoubtedly be going up against, so I decided to bump it up just a little bit. Now I have 50 Vigor and Endurance, and that is so that I have a good amount of health and I'm able to uh, use my weapons uh, and roll and uh, not have to worry too much about my uh, stamina. Uh, I'm only uh, using 30 VIT for this character, and I'm at 56.8% uh, equipment uh, burden. Uh, and I have uh, 13 attunement for uh, two attunement slots, uh, and I'll go into my spells uh, here in a minute. But I'm using uh, 40 strength and 25 dex uh, for my weapons, and I have. Uh, it shows here that I have 23 of both intelligence and faith. However, when I go to level up with the uh, with uh, Shanalot, the, the Emerald Herald, it shows that I actually have 20 of each. Now, I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Uh, my intention was to have it at 20-20, so I guess I have 23-23. I don't know at this point, so I'm running under the assumption that I have 20-20. Uh, now, I'm going to go into the equipment. I'm using the Espada Rep Rep Repera. I guess is how you pronounce that, I'm not sure, but uh, it's at plus 10, uh, and that is for, uh, and I'm using uh, this rapier uh, as opposed to other ra I apologize for the traffic, it gets really bad occasionally, but I'm using this rapier over uh, the other rapiers that, that I have at my disposal, simply because it looks good for the theme that I have uh, for this build and it has a really good uh, amount of damage coming out of it. Um, I'm also using the Drake Keeper's Great Axe. Uh, one, because I absolutely love the weapon. I love the moveset, I love the amount of damage it, it pulls out, and I just love it all around. Um, the second, I know that my uh, Rapier's not really gonna be enough to get me through uh, some of the battles against a, a lot of your Havel monsters and uh, other builds that have a, a lot more defense and uh, I use this weapon to get me out of a lot of tough spots. Uh, I also use this weapon because it also looks good like it doesn't have like a uh, barbaric um, uh, raw uh, I guess uh, look to it. It has like a uh, well honestly an almost royal look which is why I liked uh, which is why I like using it uh, I also have a Hunter's Black Bow, which I use for PvE while I'm trying to get through the game. I don't typically use it for um, PvP. Uh, I'm also using the Blossom Kite Shield, uh, A, because it looks good, and B, because it has uh, the stamina regeneration uh, added on to it. Uh, and I thought that it would be uh, a good choice. My other choice would have been the Watcher Shield because it's small and it's not very significant, it's not in your face and uh, it has decent defenses, but I uh, decided to settle with the Blossom Shield. Um, my rings are the Royal, Sir Royal Soldier's Ring plus two to increase my equipment burden. I have the Ring of Blades plus two. I have the Southern Ritual Band plus two giving me more attunement slots and then I have a Ring of Sacrifice, I have a Ring of Sorry, Ring of uh, Protection, I'm used, so used to calling them Ring of Sacrifice from Dark Souls 1. But I have that on right now because um, 
if I'm going to be summoning people into my world, if uh, I have these on, I don't have to continuously use human effigies uh, after I die. But when I'm not using this, I usually have a uh, old Leo ring equipped uh, because of my rapier, and it really uh, does help the the damage output quite a bit. But uh, my armor set is the King's Crown plus five to give us that uh, queen look. Uh, I'm using the Black Witch Robes plus 5, uh, again for the elegant uh, dress uh, uh, feel to the character. I'm using the Havel's Gauntlets for two re uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it gives me really good defense, and with a build like this, it, I kind of need it uh, to go up against your more uh, high power builds. Uh, my, the second reason is because with uh, this dress, with this chest piece that I'm wearing, uh, the sleeves kind of cover it up, so not all, you don't really see it. It's not in your face like um, a lot, a lot of times when you're using uh, these gauntlets. And I, I was actually wearing the Havel leggings, but I did, I didn't think they looked good uh, with the rest of the set, and I, th I thought that it like kind of stuck out. So I switched over to the King's Leggings uh, plus five, which uh, I think uh, kind of uh, blend in to the, uh, un like if you, I'm not, I kind of sound like a pedophile now, but uh, if uh, in the underskirt it kind of blends in with the background and it uh, really, really does uh, look smooth and uh, clean. Um, and I'm also using a Pyromancy Flame plus 10. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that, I'm not sure, but um, my spells include the Great uh, Fireball, the Great Chaos Fireball, which was a pain in the butt to get, let me tell you, because I actually had to go into New Game Plus Plus, and I can't remember if that's New Game Plus 2 or what, so I'm just going to say New Game Plus Plus, and I had to do that because um, once you go into New Game Plus Plus, the uh, mer the Ghost Merchant guy in Drain Lake will sell this and uh, Wrath of the Gods. I did also grab Wrath of the Gods, but I don't think I have the faith for it. Otherwise, I'd probably be using it. Uh, and getting Great Chaos Fireball was kind of a, a, a must in order for this to really... Hug in with the traffic. Um, I apologize. He's stuck at the red light uh, just in front of my house, and it's really inconvenient. But anyway, uh, the Great Chaos Fireball is kind of a must-have because this is a Queen of Chaos build, so I it, it just seemed right to have it. Which is another reason why I brought my character up to 201, is because I needed the health and I needed the endurance just to survive New Game Plus and beyond. So, uh, yeah. And there he goes. Okay. Uh, I'm using Fire Whip. Now, I, I switched this one out with uh, Fire Tempest. Uh, I use Fire Tempest as like a setup. I Once they back up, I use the Fire Tempest and then they like charge in and as it ends, I throw a, uh, a Great Fireball or a Chaos Fireball and it, it it uh, catches them off guard because there's usually a pillar uh, blocking their vision of me while I'm casting it. But uh, otherwise, I use this. Uh, 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 I use the fire whip uh, for the very beginning. Uh, I throw a fire ball right out the gate after you know the bows and the buffs and all, all that good jazz. But I throw a fireball. They usually dodge it, and as they're dodging in, I cast the fire whip, and it sometimes catches them off guard. It all depends on whether that, that person has a lot of experience with pyromancies or not. And then my final uh, attunement slot is taken up by warmth just in case I run into a situation where I've got gankers and I need to run away and heal. Uh, especially uh, in this area there's only one place where you can actually heal and that's uh, if uh, that player has used a pharaoh's lock stone. And that's not very common, so I usually have warmth on me. And it also gives me uh, a lot of opportunities uh, to host fight clubs uh, and look good while doing it, so I like that. Um, 
And in today's vi uh, video, I'm going to do what mo most people do with their showcases. I'm going to um, do a bit of PvP. Uh, my if my commentary is off a little bit, it's because it's been a really long time since I've done any commentary, and <laughs> uh, I'll probably be concentrating, <laughs> to be honest, because even with uh, the amount of damage coming out of this build, it I do still have to focus uh, uh, a good amount of the time. So I like summoning in these uh, Dragon Bros because if they win, they get a Dragon Scale. If I win, I get a Dragon Scale. We're both able to heal, so uh, and I only heal if they heal. Uh, I don't ever heal during uh, uh, PvP fights unless, unless of course I'm either ganked or I'm uh, fighting a Dragon Bro who is already healed. So. Uh, yeah. Now, I just need to see if I can get somebody in here. Alright, so I got one. Okay, so we got somebody. Oh, crap. And I forgot to defeat the Alone Knights, which is always a pain, because in New Game Plus Plus, they kind of tear through me. <laughs> uh. Um, and I, I always, uh, greet an invader the same way. I use the dual bow, because it looks... Uh, elegant, it looks uh, like I'm playing the part. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I needed to mention that, but uh, I felt that uh, it was necessary. Here we go. And I'm not one to stick uh, like prime like a hundred percent with castings. I usually try to mix it up a little bit and use the castings uh, in order to. Uh, mix it up and uh, make the fight a little more interesting. And a lot of damage coming out of, coming out of that fireball. And a great fireball for the win. GG, sir. Okay, so now I'm going to rest of the bonfire, get my spells back, and then we will fight another one. Uh, I'm not sure how long this this uh, video is going to go, going to uh, last. Uh, I'm hoping to at least have it uh, at around 10 minutes, though I'm not sure. It all depends on how many guys I get in here. So, um, see if we can get anybody. If not, I will um, either randomly invade or I will put my red soap, uh, soapstone down. So now we just wait for the signs. <clears throat> and uh, li uh, like I said previously, I use the uh, gra uh, Drake Keeper's uh, Great Axe just to. Uh, pull out just a little more damage if I need it. Like you guys saw, the fireball, my pyromancies are pretty powerful. I, I'm dishing out quite a bit of damage, but if I do run into a uh, situation where I'm low on health and uh, or the guys uh, really got a power advantage over me, I usually switch to the uh, to the axe. And hopefully we'll be able, I'll be able to uh, show that uh, in this video. And again, I apologize for the traffic. For some odd reason, everyone decides to uh, rev their engines right at the uh, the red light, and it's very inconvenient for recording. But this is one of the best times for me to do it. It's uh, early in the morning. The other, the only other time that I can do it is uh, late at night, and this is Sunday night, and I have school in the morning. Uh, so, and I did not record yesterday. So, because I was making this build, I, I actually. Recorded. I actually played all day yesterday. I think I got off of the Xbox three hours for three hours yesterday. Uh, so uh, I spent quite a bit of time uh, making this character. Uh oh, ouch! Whoa! Crap! Come on. Are you? Ah, oh, GG alone night. 
Sorry, man. I didn't get to fight. I didn't get to fight you. And not, uh, not right anyway. I'm gonna kill those guys next time. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, get the sound low enough to where you can't hear the traffic. It's just that I. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> um, the only, I don't have like any sort of uh, editing software or anything like that. The most I have is actually the YouTube editor. That's all I have. So uh, that is the extent of my capabilities. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. Oh, not both at the same time. A lot of damage coming out of this weapon, and I love it. I love it. Especially seeing as how going into New Game Plus Plus uh, boss fights. Wow, sirens. Wow, that is really inconvenient. <laughs> but uh, especially going into um, New Game Plus Plus boss fights, uh, the uh, Great Axe is very, uh, very handy because it does dish out uh, the damage needed to, uh, to defeat the bosses. So, oh, we got this guy, so top ourselves off and get ready. Um, I guess I could explain now, because I forgot to do so earlier, but uh, I have a few alternate we alternative weapons to uh, my rapier and my axe. Uh, for my rapier, I have a uh, Chaos Blade, which I love using. I absolutely adore that weapon. Not only because it is the Chaos weapon, and my name is Anonymous Chaos, but because I really like the moveset, and uh, the damage is just ridiculous. It is insane. So, yeah. Got a lance user. There we go. Yep, he's out damaging me. Log though. Come on. That uh, fifty endurance coming in handy there. Just barely dodged out of that. Go reach of that. GG, sir. That was a good fight. Uh, technically, he killed me first, so I'll I'll count that as a win for him. So I'm down two, uh, one win, two losses. I'm counting that uh, alone night kill a loss just because I should have known better. <laughs> uh, when I actually went over there, I didn't even consider the fact that they were over there. I just completely forgot, so that's a loss for me. Two to one. Now we're gonna switch to another ring. I actually have a crap ton of these, by the way. I just started playing the game and I looked and all of a sudden I've got a a ton of these so I was like you know what yeah that's what I'm using this character for <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get a red in here um, I would put my sign down but it's the waiting period between the
Kun getting summoned, it's, uh, I don't know, yeah, I mean, occasionally it gets really long, but we'll see. Let's try to get summoned. I uh, switched my Leo ring to show off uh, Leo ring with the rapier. Um, as I was saying, I, I have the Chaos Blade. Well, I have all these other weapons, but I like using the Chaos Blade. Um, oh, crud, what was the other weapon? <laughs> Forgot. Um, <laughs> this was awkward. Um, use the Chaos Blade. Uh, I also have this uh, Stone Soldier Spear, which I don't use all that often, but, you know, it's there. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I guess I must have put away the other weapon because I can't remember. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I had two weapons, but now I can't. There we go. But now I can't remember. So unprofessional of me. I sure hope this isn't the same set of gankers that I ran into uh, earlier. I actually started playing uh, before this so I so I could get used to using the character again. Uh, I'm I'm working on other char other characters to showcase. I uh, I have an a, a intelligence build that I've been working on. It's the same build that um, I used for my very first PvP uh, video, but I've switched it up. It's different. It's a lot different. So okay, so we got into a fight club. Good evening, sir. Okay, so we got buffs, and they're off, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow, that dark damage, though. I can actually use that on my rapier, but I've, I've decided not to. Not quite sure why. I guess it's because I, I needed more attunement for it, but I can use it, so. Ooh, Santier Spear coming out. He means business. Yeah, saw that one coming. Okay. Good grief. Traffic is awful today. I chose a really shitty time to, time to record. Finally getting some damage off. That's good. That's a good start. Come on, man. That was a good, that was a good prediction of that roll. Actually, ooh, it's coming close. They're even now, I think. Yeah, just about. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually how I prefer to use the Santier spear, not as a uh, twin blade, but as a spear. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Okay. Howdy. And now I guess we just wait for another fight. Hmm. Here we go. He got one, that's good. I was worried that uh, we'd have one of those long waiting periods that I usually get at my fight clubs. We got a halberd, it looks like. No, that's a spear. No, even better, that's a hide lance. No, it's cyan halberd, gosh dang it. I know that weapon, I, I use it a lot, so I don't know why I messed that up. Okay, I disagree. I strongly disagree. Oh wow, usually I don't get uh, that kind of damage coming out of my rapier. Ah, 
I was gonna, I was trying to be right just out of his range so that I could hit him as he ended the animation. But I think that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave me, leave me a, a, a no, a little comment there below. I don't know why I said it like that, but go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me what you liked, and if you didn't like, go ahead, leave me a dislike, and uh, leave me a comment telling me what you don't like and how I can improve. I'm always up for improving my content. But with all that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Anonymous Chaos saying, peace out.